Today we're doing a two-part video. These are 20 products that I'd fight you for if you tried to take them away from me. It's kind of a light-hearted video. It's not that serious, but these are products that I use all the time. If I don't use these every day, I at least use them every week. And I wanted to bring that to you today and we're gonna do it in two parts and that's exciting. Before we get started, we always talk about what I have on. If you're not interested, here's the timestamp as to where the actual reviews of these products are. And don't forget that we have a numbering system, one through however many we get to, and that will flash up on the screen. Don't worry about remembering the name of the product. Just go down into the description box and shop that way with the link next to it. All right, so here is my outfit for today. I took a pair of white jeans. I have never worn white jeans in my whole life, but I got these and I really like them. They are really stretchy and really nice, and I love that about them through the thigh. They are still pretty much a skinny jean, and yes, I know we're not supposed to be wearing skinny jeans anymore, but I'm gonna wear skinny jeans till I'm old and can't wear them no more. And then I got this top. This is just kind of a chiffon top. Um, it's really a pretty top, light top too. Cute little gather right here at the wrist and the sleeve, little bit of ruffle, ruffle around the neck as well. And then it has the tie and then the buttons come all the way down. And you could tuck it in like I have, or you can wear it out. Here's the belt that I'm wearing as well. Now let me just pull this out so you can see what it looks like when it's pulled out. It's so cute. It's cute either worn either way, but I liked to have it tucked in a little bit. And then the shoes that I'm wearing, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see those or not, but the shoes that I'm wearing are the cutest. They are just a wedge heel and they are so comfortable. And then I went and I grabbed me this blue purse that I just thought was so cute <laughs> and it brings out the blue in the outfit. So just a really fun, cute outfit and also let me just show you really close you'll see during the video but I also have this cute little silver heart on and then these are rhinestones they're a hoop but they are rhinestones in the shape of a heart so that is my outfit for the day i hope that you do enjoy seeing these uh, let me know what you think about everything and let's get into the video all right let's do this i'm so excited about this we are going to do it in two parts so we're going to do the first 10 and then we're going to go on and we're going to do the other 10 and that will be up on Saturday, so you know that. All right, here we go. To begin with, I'm gonna show you this, and if you hear a little bit of a buzzing in the background, that's because I have this fan on. It is snowing like a bugger outside right now. By the way, happy spring, even though we're supposed to have five days of snow from now on. But I love this little fan when I'm doing my makeup, when I wanna dry the spray that I've put on, or if I'm just having a hot flash or a hot moment, this little fan is so nice. Now, what's really cool about it is it is rechargeable, so you can take it with you. It also has five speeds on it. And that's awesome because you know you get hotter and hotter as the day goes on and it also will lay down like that and sit on your vanity so i love this thing you can also pop this out and there is a little felt washer in there you can put your favorite perfume or your favorite aromatherapy oil on there and you get that as you're getting cooled down by this cool little fan that's product number one because Hot flashes are not for sissies, and I am always warm. All right, we're going to move towards the shower. Now, if you've been with me any length of time, you won't be surprised by this next product. It is the Pravana, the Perfect Blonde Treatment Mask, Purple Toning Mask. This is uber purple. This is like crazy purple. Now, if you don't have blonde hair, but you have brunette hair, you can get one that is blue, and it'll do the same thing. But look how purple that is. Holy Moses. So what I do is I take about the size of a 50 cent piece and I put it in my hand. Oh, this is, I do a double wash first with my hair and then I just rub it through my hands and then I really get it in my hair, worked all the way through. And then I let it sit there while I do everything else that is in the shower that I need to do, shave my legs, all that stuff. And then I'll rinse it out and I'll put some conditioner on really quick. But this helps keep my hair from getting so brassy. Now my hair gets very brassy because 
in between going to the salon, which is super expensive, I do color my hair at home. And I don't mind doing that, but those colors never really turn out to where they're not brassy. So this helps out so much. And I use this probably once a week to keep the brassies down. It's so good. And I've been talking about it for years. All right, the next product that I probably fight you for is from Tree Hut. This is the moisturizing shave oil. And you can see that I'm almost out of it. I love this stuff. This one is the coconut lime. They have a bunch of other, other flavors that you can look at. But this shave oil is so nice instead of a shaving cream or shaving foam because it does at the same time moisturize as you're shaving your legs. And I really like it and it seems to glide a lot easier. And my husband even loves this, he's bald and he loves to shave his head with this. So it is a really good shave gel alternative and I think you'll love this shave. Right. Also in the shower, after I'm done doing something like that, because I live in the Sahara Desert, it's not really the Sahara, Utah, but it's so darn dry here. And then you turn the heat on in the winter time and we're talking negative 15% humidity. And so this saves me every time. Saves me from having to get out of the shower and worrying about slathering my body immediately. Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Oil Mist. This is oat oil and jojoba oil. And it says it conditions dry, rough skin. And I wholeheartedly agree with this. I love this stuff. I actually spray it on my hands. You can spray it on your body and then rub it around, but I'll spray it on my hand and then I'll just continue to rub everywhere. And I put this everywhere because I get itchy up my back. I get itchy on my legs, all over my arms. I get itchy everywhere. And so I really use this a lot. You can tell that this is another one that I need to reorder, but this is a product that I can't be without because it just makes my life so much easier. Get out of the shower, you pat off all your excess this water and guess what you have a moisturized body which is awesome also while you're in the shower even though it's snowing right now it's supposed to snow for the next four days can you tell i'm really tired of the snow <laughs> This is Jergens Natural Glow. This one is one that I think is really great if you really just don't want to fuss with a whole entire tanning routine. And I get that. It can be really time consuming and it just can be one of those things you're like, I don't got time for that. Okay, it says glides on smoothly to lock in hydration and create gradual subtle color, wet skin moisturizing and firming medium to deep skin tones in shower color, no rinse, infused with coconut oil, paraben free and cruelty free. I got the medium to deep one because I don't want to have to wait that long. And I, when I'm tanning, I do want a little bit deeper tan. It doesn't get me really tan. As a matter of fact, this tan that I've got on today, that's from actually using my tanning stuff, but this will work really good to hold that moisture in and go ahead and give you that little gradual tan. And it's got a really great delivery system. It says no rinse, but what I'll do is I'll just slather everything on. And when I do that and I get out, if I towel dry it off, then I'm towel drying off the lotion anyway. So I will just rinse really lightly and then get out and go ahead and, and dry off. So this is great. I've been using this one also for years. And this one is easy to find at your local drugstore and it's really good product. I love Jergens tanning products. All right, let's just stick with the tanning part of it. I actually do another tan or a deeper tan to get my body to be tan. And I love this product right here from Saint Tropez. It's glow boosting vitamin C and D bronzing water mist. And it says it has pure self tan purity vitamins. And what I love about this is that it is a mist. And so you can mist it if you want to. It's got a fairly fine mist. I'm not going to mist it right now, um, but it's got a fairly fine mist so you can mist it. One thing I would tell you is take a look at that hand right there. I did this yesterday. I tanned yesterday and yeah, had a kind of a tragic tanning accident here going on. So I would tell you to wear a mitt or wear rubber gloves when you're doing it. I always wear just um, some rubber gloves to do my tanning anyway. Otherwise, this happened, this happened afterwards when I was, you know, doing my, anyway. So it's really good and it really does give you a deep tan overnight. It's not, you know, one that's gonna, you're gonna spray it on, you're gonna see the tan immediately. But what I like about it is if you go back in with your mitt 
or what I'm going to show you next. Then you can get a very even tan and I love that about it. And this bottle will last you quite a long time. Um, this isn't super inexpensive. I will definitely look around and see if I can link for you the least expensive one, maybe one on sale or something, but this is a really good tan. I really like San Tropez. This is probably my favorite. They also have a facial one, but don't worry about that because it comes in a lot littler bottle for almost the same price. And this seems to be almost the same product. All right, what am I talking about when I'm talking about an applicator? You guys, I saw this on Shay Whitney's channel. She does all kinds of Amazon stuff and she does such a great job. Now, this is a huge buffing body brush and it rubs your tan in flawlessly. This is a little bit more expensive. I think it's around $49. So yes, this is expensive, but this thing has been washed and dried and used over and over and over again. I've had it for a year and a half and I love it. And the biggest reason I love it is because I can hold it like this. Now, I didn't use this last night because I wanted to show it to you pretty clean instead of having to clean it again last night. Um, but it's really soft and it is perfect for buffing in your tanning product no, ma no matter what you use. This is such a good brush. I will put either my lotion on there or I'll spray my spray all over me and then I'll go back over and buff this in. It just helps that tan to go on flawlessly. Now you could use really any body brush, but I have never seen one that big. It's really big. It's like a quarter size of my head. It's huge. I mean, it's it's one of those ones that I just really loved after Shay mentioned it. It was like I knew that I was going to be using it every single time I did my tan and I still use it. Now, speaking of cleaning your brushes, the Cinema Secrets Quick Drying Rinse Free Formula Makeup Brush Cleaner if you have a lot of brushes and i do this is my job and i have a lot of brushes and you can see it's halfway gone more than that but i've had it for a while but this is the slickest way for you to be able to clean your brushes just so fast now when i originally purchased it it came with a small one i actually tried a, the trial size and it had a little tin that came with it I can use that on some brushes, but a lot of brushes I can't. So this brush right here, um, if you can see that, that's a pretty dirty brush. What I'll do is we're gonna dirty that brush up even more. I'm gonna put that into this Janessa Myrick stuff right here. So you can see how dirty that brush is. This is a cream. Um, I will list it if you're interested. It's a really good cream blush, but I'm going to take some of the product off because that's not really fair if we do that much. But yeah, you can see how dirty that brush is now. Oh my goodness. And I know I'm going to have a bunch of you say, what kind of brush is that? Where did you get it? I will link it right below my link for the Cinema Secrets. So here's my bowl and I'm just going to dump a tiny bit into the bottom of there. And I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. So I probably put maybe three tablespoons in here, maybe two. You just, you don't need very much. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to dunk my brush in there. And I'm going to thoroughly get my brush coated because that brush was really, really junky. Now, I'm going to pick that brush up. I've already dunked it. And I'm going to just use this towel and I'm going to clean off the surface of that brush. And you just keep going back and forth in circular motions. And I do it, you know, one way, circle one way and then circle back the other way. Look it. It's clean. Now, this brush, particular brush, is stained from years and years and years of using it. This is the perfect cream blush brush, and it is so nice. Look at that. Isn't that amazing how good that is? If you haven't tried Cinema Secrets, I know that it's a little bit more expensive, but really, this has saved me so much time, and it's so easy, and you don't have to rinse your brush after this. It does have quite a strong fragrance to it, so if you're adverse to fragrances, you might want to know that, but basically, that's the quick drying solution that's on there. And you know, in a few minutes, I'm gonna be able to use this brush, no problem. I love this stuff, I love this stuff, and I think it's fantastic. We're just gonna kind of stick with the bathroom theme or the bath shower thing that we were talking about before. I show this on camera every year, and every year somebody comes back and says, oh my goodness, thank you so much for telling me about that. This is, and yes, the title is correct. This is the Lady Anti-Monkey Butt Anti-Friction Powder. It says sweat absorber and skin soother with, cam cal with calamine. 
Okay, it's talc free. It's made out of cornstarch. It hardly has any fragrance at all. A tiny bit of a fragrance, and I don't even can't even tell you what the fragrance is. But it comes out very light pink. I use this everywhere. I use it, especially my boobs and my butt. They sweat all the time. My thighs, they sweat all the time. And I love this stuff because it truly is a sweat absorber. Now I'll tell you that after I showed it the very first time on my channel, I think it was like five years ago or so, some sweet gal came and said, I'm a biker. I go out on my bike all you know, her motorcycle, Harley or whatever it was. She goes out on her motorcycle all the time and she swears by this. She says, I never chafe and I never get any sweat that really is embarrassing. And I was like, that's quite a testimonial. So yes, this is lady anti monkey butt, but it's the greatest powder that I've ever used to keep all the sweat at bay. Now, besides keeping the sweat at bay, we also have to think about keeping the sweat from stinking. I have talked about Lumi deodorant for, oh gosh, probably six, seven years, ever since I started my channel. Now, if you have not tried this, why have you not tried this? If you find that you just have to take a shower every day because you, you know, you start to smell and you don't like it, everything, Oh my goodness, this will keep you stink free for up to 72 hours. And I am not kidding. I put this everywhere. I use it everywhere. Now I talked about boob sweat, so I'll put this on before I use the powder, but I, I use this under the boobs. I use it in my belly button. I use it on my toes. I use it on my butt. I use it on my hoo-ha. I use this everywhere. It goes everywhere that I sweat. And it is so great because it's super lightweight. It absorbs fairly quickly. There are a lot of different fragrances. This one is Bay Rum. Now I want you to not pay attention to that because when you get it, it will have the slight fragrance of what it says it is but it doesn't smell like that. Whatever the natural ingredients are in here, that's what it smells like. It's not a bad smell and it dissipates very, very quickly. It's just a, a different smell than what we're used to with deodorants and powders and spritzes because it's not a fake smell. So it goes away really quickly, like I said. It's different, but it's not harsh and I love it. I use it every single time I get out of the shower. This is going on me, and if I can't find it, and I've you know, packed it away, and we've gone on a trip, and it's in my bag, I'm yelling at the hubby to bring it to the bathroom, because this is one product that I will not ever be without. This and Lady Anti Monkey Butt, and you got yourself, you are just sweat-free, stink-free. You're doing so good, you just, you just love yourself. All right, so that rounds out part one of this video that I'd fight you for products. If you took them away from me, you'd get a fight. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, you have to tune in on Saturday for part number two. And I'm excited for the other products as well because they're just beauty products that never fail me. Now, if you have some beauty products that never fail you, that you purchase over and over again, I wanna hear about that down in the comment section. Don't forget to tell me all about that. I'm gonna put a video up right here so you can go ahead and take a peek at something else. I don't know exactly what it will be. Maybe we'll do the foundation video that we just talked about. So I'm gonna put that foundation video up. Hope that you're doing really well. Come back around for part two. I love you so much and take care. Goodbye, my friends.